Hey, how's it going? The new assortment of retro entertainment vehicles is out. Uh, these are not out in stores yet, but you can find them on eBay from the hobby dealers. Uh, these are, this is the E case, I think. Yes, the E case. So it's the fifth assortment of these things. There's five new cars this time around, um, <clears throat> as there always is. Again, these are the adult line. As you can see here on the back, it says for the adult collector. Try to get that in focus for you there. There you go. For the adult collector, uh, these things have real riders and are all metal. Obviously, in the case of this guy, uh, no real riders. This is not a car. It is a spaceship. There is no tires. So uh, I think this time I'm going to usually I go through these and I show you them in the package and uh, talk about them a little bit. I think this time I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to show you the package and I'm going to go ahead and crack them open on the video and uh, give you a closer look uh, in the video. So here's the first one. Battlestar Galactica 35th anniversary. This is the Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper. Now let's get this thing open real quick. I'll show it to you here on the video. Now, uh, the first thing I noticed it's not very heavy. Uh, it's not very heavy at all. It's not very big. Um, I don't know. I'm not overly impressed with this. Uh, I'm not a Battlestar Galactica fan, so I don't know that much about it. But uh, as far as the model goes, the details are good. Um, they're not excellent. They could be better, I think, for a $5 model. But uh, they are pretty good. Uh, you got the the boosters here. There's details in there. And you got uh, underneath, you know, there's not much going on there date code and uh, some other stuff but uh, the top overall is uh, is pretty solid for a 164 scale spaceship alright let's move on to the next one here we have the Miami Vice Ferrari 365 GTS 4 Daytona Spider um, you can see the packaging there it says Miami Vice now these don't have anything on the back uh, just the logo and some legal information so uh, you're not missing anything from by not seeing the back I wish there was information on the back about the shows and stuff but uh, they just didn't go that route so I guess that's okay it's not my decision to make but uh, here's the Ferrari this thing is very cool uh, I'm a fan of the Ferrari most Ferraris anyways uh, nice real riders on this one. Nice thick real riders, actually. Um, if you can see there, metal base, of course. Metal top. Nice, nice black finish on this one. Uh, you can see the headlights there. The Ferrari logos even on the front there. Windshield wipers on the window, on the windshield, I should say. Uh, the back, the painted bumper, painted tail lights, and uh, it says Ferrari on the trunk. Very, very cool, very nice car. Definitely one of my favorites. This one's a lot heavier than the spaceship is. Uh, this thing's got a lot of weight to it for just a small car. Uh, next up, we got the Magnum PI Island Hopper. Now we got two vehicles here for Magnum PI. I think I'm gonna uh, show you them both and then open them both up at about the same time. The next one, as you can see, the card is exactly the same on both of these. Uh, no variation whatsoever. The only difference is this says Volkswagen Sunagon here at the bottom, and this one says Island Hopper at the bottom, but uh, both the same. Now, these two kind of go together from what I can tell. Never saw the show, no info on the back, but uh, judging by the paint scheme and the fact that this says Island Hoppers on it, and uh, I'm going to say that they're, uh, you know, they're related somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and crack these things open. All right, there's the Sunagon, and here comes the Island Hopper. Now, I wasn't sure when I saw these online how I would like the paint scheme, but now that I have them in my hand, it looks excellent. Um, the presentation of the colors on there is just absolutely fantastic, so i uh, very pleased with that. But here's the Sunagon, a very heavy vehicle again. Um, all metal, real riders, really nice real riders on this one too. I just love all the real riders actually, but uh, you know, some are better than others. Here we have the front, Volkswagen there, it says Island Hoppers across the front. 
Same thing on this side as was on the other side. Um, and then here on the back, we have a motorcycle. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> it does not come off. It's it's on there. It's uh, molded in. It's the same color as the interior. So I'm assuming it's molded in. And then here we have the the chopper. Now, you didn't see that because my arm was in the way. But the prop moves. So that's pretty cool. I always like to see moving parts. Now, a pretty cool helicopter here. That's a two-seater. It's just uh, two seats in there. Uh, nice little bubble style helicopter. Now, I don't know how it goes in the show, but it looks to me like this thing can ride on top of this thing here. Although, there's nothing to like lock it down or anything, but uh, it looks like a possibility. If you've seen the show, let me know what's going on with this. Is this something that happened, or uh, is this just a, uh, a scale issue with... Uh, that makes it possible with the toys. Uh, let me know. I'm curious. Uh, I always like to learn new things. I really appreciate it when you guys help me out with stuff that I may miss or that I may not know. But uh, anyways, there you have it. The Island Hoppers. And uh, this is the Island Hopper and the Son of God. And I should mention on the Island Hopper that uh, it's all plastic except for the painted area here. So the part that's uh, orange, yellow, and brown is metal. Everything else on this thing is plastic. And, uh, yeah, I just love that the prop spins, so I had to do that again. Now, last but not least, <coughs> excuse me, it's the Italian job, Morris Mini. Now, this thing right here is my favorite of the lot. Um, very awesome vehicle. I have not seen the original movie, but I did see the remake, and I loved it. Uh, I hope to someday see the original. If I see it at Walmart in one of those $5 bins, I'll probably buy it because, uh, you know, I want to see it. I'd like to see how it compares to the remake. But uh, the remake is uh, definitely excellent. But uh, I think these cars here are a little bit better than the ones used in the remake. I believe the ones in the remake were the Mini Coopers, uh, whereas these are the original Morris Minis. Uh, there it is, the blue one. As you can see in the card here, there's a white one and a red one. I believe those will be coming out in a later assortment of retro entertainment. Cannot wait my hand, wait to get my hands on the whole set. This is the first Italian job car in the series. There's the back of it. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, there it is. It's very small, uh, but mighty. <laughs> Uh, anyways, the thing is awesome. Uh, it's even better out of the package. Anyways, here it is. Got the uh, real riders on there, of course. Very nice real riders on this one. Again, uh, these are smooth real riders. All the other ones have had tread, so that's a pretty cool feature. You see the door handle on there painted on. The back has great details. It says Austin Cooper S there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, the tail lights are painted, which is very cool. I always enjoy seeing painted headlights and tail lights. And it also has painted headlights. Now, if you notice in the picture, there were a couple extra lights across here uh, in the movie. Those are not on this model. Uh, I imagine that had to do something with molding. It probably didn't look very good with those on there in this scale. But uh, I'm very pleased with this thing. Now, you can see the straps painted down the front there. Uh, the car on the card, which in the movie had that as well. So uh, there you have it. That is the Morris Mini from the Italian job and the last car in the um, fifth assortment of retro entertainment cars. Uh, anyways, I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and have a great day.